and Metro Police tell, tell us that Teddy Grassett and his friend were walking right along here on 4th Avenue South around midnight that September evening. At that same time, police tell us that Daniela Cruz, Alex Nunez, and Joseph Santillan were driving around downtown looking for victims. Here's what happened next. You can see a silver Impala pull up and two men get out of that car and confront Grassett and his friend out here on the street. Grassett started running and police tell us Alex Nunez shot him in the back, killing him. This case got a lot of attention because it happened in the busy and very safe part of downtown Nashville here where we don't hear about a lot of violent crime and we don't hear about hardly any murders. Now we're told a tip from a citizen led police to Santillan and that led them to his car. Detectives then connected Cruz and Nunez to this crime. They were found hiding out in North Carolina where Raleigh police arrested them last night. Santillan though, he's still on the run. Great investigative, investigative work by Detective Ashworth last weekend and the first of this week led to the identification of Nunez and Cruz. The investigation at this point led us to believe that the person indicted in this case traveled downtown for the purpose of finding someone vulnerable to rob. While we can't guarantee that crime won't happen in our city, when it does, we need to make sure that we seek swift justice for the victims, and that is exactly what MMPD did in this case. Police told us they were on the lookout for that Impala with the distinctive blue license plate light over it, but it turns out that that car was in a body shop there. They were removing the spoiler. They were removing that distinctive blue light, and they were trying to make that car look not like the one we've been showing in that surveillance video all this time. Zentillum is a convicted felon. He was convicted of an armed robbery uh, back in 2012. Cruz has a misdemeanor DUI conviction, but Nunez, the suspected gunman in this case, has no state adult criminal criminal history that we can find just yet. This investigation is ongoing. Metro Police tell us that Cruz and Nunez will be extradited back to Nashville in the coming days. We're live downtown. Joseph Pleasant, News 2. Thanks for that report, Joseph. News 2's Larry Flowers joins us on 